Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Thaco Gamers. My name is Matt, and I am solo today as I run you guys through a tutorial on how to put custom images into the game, how to put them onto the sails of your sailboats, how to put them into um, the blank canvases that you have uh, that you can buy from the auction house and whatnot. So I'm going to run you through this. I'm not going to necessarily purchase everything here because I've done some of this in the... Um, previously as I was learning how to do it and I actually want to I decided I wanted to create this video because there wasn't a lot of good tutorials out there on how to do it for those of you that want to and also because some people that have never played this game before don't even know that this is a thing and it's really freaking cool and I love that Arcage does this basically long story short you can take any custom JPEG that you want, and you can put it into the game. So uh, we're going to go through, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so the main thing, the first thing you need here is a, a Crest Brainstorm. And you can craft it yourself, or you can get it off of the auction house. So Brainstorm. We're just going to look this up right now, and there's a few on the auction house. This is actually a pretty good price. Um, when I purchased before, they were sitting up around 150 to 200 gold. Um, so... The ones here are doing pretty good. I'm actually I am gonna buy one for myself, because uh, I like that price. So depends on the server that you're on, depends on the time of day. Obviously, there's not a lot of people making those. You can craft them yourself if you decide to. I'm not huge into the crafting into this game. Um, like I like it and I enjoy it, but I don't advance every possible crafting opportunity that I can because it's just if you play the game you'll know to if you want to max out everything in this game that's just that's not a thing although i am uh, right now uh, trying to max out every skill tree that there is that's why none of my abilities are usable right now um because when i go through and make uh, my tax certificates uh that you get a decent amount of experience for those and i'm using those to help me level up all of my skill trees i Striving towards that achievement. So I have four of them, three, three of them already right now maxed out. But anyways, so uh, the next step that we need to do is we need to look at the map and I'm just going to go ahead and shut everything off on here. It makes it a little bit easier. It's easier for me to turn everything off and then you can kind of toggle this on and off and see. So Crest Printer is the one that we want and we want to be able to actually see. I made a mistake before. If this isn't checked, you're not going to see them. I'll kind of demonstrate that here in a second. So we're going to zoom out of the map here and we're just going to click this on and off, not getting anything. I think Marion Opal is where I ended up. There you go. So you'll see, and we're not going to see anything here. There may be some in some of the other areas. We can kind of peek and see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. So Capital Cities work for that. We'll go to Marion Opal. So turn this on and off. We see right here in Marianopol, there's some Crest printers there. So that's the next place that we're going to want to go. So uh, I'm just going to create a portal to Marianopol. And you know what? I'm going to look for one thing really quick here. Make sure that I have some Hereafter Stones. Always good to have some of those. Those are what you need. Oh, open this up. for. Oh, my bag's full. Okay, I'll open it later. So I want to go to Marianopol. And we're going to teleport, teleport ourselves to Marianopol and we're going to go check out these guys. I'll show you what to do. Um, and there is also one other thing that you need to keep in mind. Um, okay, so you need to create uh, a file uh a picture file that you're going to import and it needs to be called ucc.png and it needs to be in a specific folder and I'll show you that actually we'll bring that up right now and I'll show you so under your c drive uh, c colon backslash you'll go into archage and then documents and then there's a ucc folder now the file that you need I'm just gonna drag a random one in here right now um, let's see what can we use I'll actually grab one out of my youtube folder here and we'll get this so I'm gonna make a copy of this and paste and it needs to be a png file which you can modify that in uh, paintbrush if you don't have anything else and it needs to be called ucc ucc.png now the last thing that you need to know is that this needs to be drag this over here this <laughs> this needs to be um a specific size so we're gonna resize this and it needs to be 256 by 256 so i'm going to turn that off this is obviously going to stretch this and make it look kind of funky but that's the file size that it needs to be and you can modify this make whatever you want and then that will work 
uh, within ArcAge. It needs to be a, um, a, G, a PNG file. It needs to be called UCC, and it needs to be under this directory, C ArcAge Documents UCC. So once you have that 256 by 256, you can make it whatever you want it to be, save it in there, and we're good to go. So this is what they want to be able to import into ArcAge. So once you do that, we'll look back at the map here, and we want to run down to these guys, and I am going to mount up just for fun. Let's call him my horse. Yeah, I'll bring my wolf out just for the hell of it. All right, so we want to make our way down here, and we're going to go to these guys, and I'll show you what to do next. Now, this is where I'm not actually going to do this step because I don't want that random stupid picture of me right now. I'm going to save the uh, memory brainstorm for uh, another image that I do later, but I do have some that are already made. It looks like it's over here. So where are we looking at? Had them earlier. Yeah, they're down here. And to the left again. I probably couldn't be taking you in a more roundabout way. What the hell is this place at? Uh, so, I think I just circled around it a few times, but it was at the flat. Do, 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 do. Let me see. It's going to be right up here. Yoink. And I believe it was Anvil. We're close here. Was it here? Carpentry. Oh, here it is. I remember this now. Okay, so here's your crest printer. So I'm going to get off my horse. Doop -doo. You think I'd get off my horse? Go away. Okay, so. So now when you right click on this, maybe. It needs to be lowercase. Let's verify this. So I'm going to go back into that directory there and so we call that UCC with a lowercase and we're going to reopen this up. So there it is. You see that little image here? So we're good to go. So all you do now when you select this item and you put it in there, we have our image. We have our image up here, and then you just hit complete, and you need one crest brainstorm in your inventory to put this onto uh, what's going to be called a crest ink. So we're going to pretend right now that I did this, but I'm not going to waste my crest brainstorm right now, but you just select the image that you want, or you can do some of these built in. But So we select the image that we want, we create the, we hit complete, it'll burn up this crest brainstorm here, and then it's going to create a crest ink. Now, eh, we're going to hide that okay so now here's a cool part so let's re-teleport our aces back to our house and i'm actually going to save you can see me do a couple of things while i'm in here too because why the hell not might as well get this taken care of so i'm gonna i'm gonna come back to the town area and since i'm here i'm just gonna go in and uh do a family quest uh, get a little bit of vocation badges, and so let's do this here. Sorry, a little side note. I already know, already know I have the lumber in my uh, inventory here. Donate to the town. And then we're going to head back. We're going to head back to my house. Just do a little bit of running. There's someone gliding over there. So I have a couple of houses. I have one uh, over by the ocean, over here in Souls Reed, uh, right along this housing area up here. And uh, the other one that I have is um, right here in Liliat Hills. And we actually have, uh, me and a few others have a bit of property over here. And we're actually able to patron right now and have property without spending any in-game money, which is absolutely awesome. You can uh, buy Apex, which we'll make a video about that later. Um, but you can buy uh, Apex with in-game gold and then use that Apex to sub. And you can be a subscriber to this game without uh, spending any in-game money or without spending any real-world money, which is super cool. And I have some trees here that I need to harvest, but I'll get to that later. And my labor is almost maxed out. Uh, it was a long weekend. Didn't get a chance to play a ton. So, um, doo -doo -doo. So now that we're here... I can go into the house, and this is my house here, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my inventory, 
And now the only thing that we need is this crest ink that I theoretically just crafted. Uh, this is one that I did earlier with a different design. And we need memory ink. And anytime that you right click on the crest ink when you have memory ink, you're gonna create this little rock looking thing that's called a crest stamp. And you can create as many of these as you want. I'm gonna create another one. Well, that's all that I have room in my inventory for right now. And then you take a blank canvas, which you can also buy off of the auction house. Uh, last I looked, they were going for like 90 silver, so not much at all. Blake canvas. Oh my gosh, I was lucky that day. I should have bought it a lot more. <laughs> well, I ain't buying any blank canvas today. But um, that just kind of shows how the uh, how things can run in the auction house here but uh, with the marketplace. But anyways, so now that we have this, we can right-click on this crest stamp and we can just apply it to that blank canvas. And it says crest change successfully. And I'm just going to place it on the wall. And there you go. This is the design that we made earlier. And this is the one that we got into the game. And now, so long as I have this crest ink, I can craft as many of these little crest stamp blobs as I want and put as many of these as I want into the game. And it's super awesome. And uh, I actually have a blank canvas, or a, uh, a canvas that I had put out here earlier. A uh, little bit of advertising out to the world. So, and hey, if you happen to see this in game, uh, shoot me a screenshot. That'd be awesome. Send it to me on Twitter. <laughs> <clears throat> if you want one, uh, we'll mail you one. We'll, we'll be glad to mail you one if you want to advertise. There's other Matt's house over there. He's got one up on his house. But so for as many blank canvases as you have, you can just keep making those, and it's extremely awesome, and we're really happy with it. I honestly threw that together pretty quick and was not expecting this to uh, – I didn't think I was going to be able to go through all of the steps necessarily to to finish that at the time. I was just kind of investigating it. Got a little lost, got wrapped up in research and everything else, figured out how to do it, and I just went with it. I was so excited about it. And every MMO should do this. This is another one of the 10 billion things that Arcage offers that no other MMO offers. Sure. Do you want gratuitous advertisement of people's YouTube channels plastered all over your video game? No, not really. But this was more for fun. Um, but you can put whatever you want in there so long as it isn't offensive, uh, which... Possibly this is offensive. <laughs> but anyways, it's super awesome. It's super cool. And there's one final little thing, and I need to get my arse over to, was it Cinderstone? I'm trying to remember where it was. I believe it was Two Crowns. I think it was Two Crowns. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to Two Crowns right now uh, to do... And show you the final thing that you can do with this that is super awesome. And uh, I haven't gotten a Thunderstruck Pine Tree lately. I have actually heard that those are no longer available in the wild. I'm going to have to... That was just the rumor mill, though. I actually have to look it up in the game and see. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to remove our pine trees. We did get a couple of Thunderstruck trees, which made us a ton of money. Um, but I think mining those is no longer a moneymaker. So we'll have to verify that. But anyways, let's get down to the harbor. So this, this is uh, super awesome, extremely cool. And you can absolutely put your image uh, onto the sail of your boat, which I love. I love it. I love it. Let's fly this way. So we're just going to head down, and I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. I think I took the long way around. Uh, maybe not. Let's go. And I, I'd like to throw a shout out to Titan uh, within the server. I don't know if you watch a channel or not. I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know if you know we've just kind of talked in game, but <laughs> it, it, I just want to give a shout out to you because it's super awesome. You gave us awesome crafting areas uh, for us to use right next to where we play the game at, and uh, I even uh, sent him. <laughs> sent Titan a uh, image on a canvas of our YouTube channel with uh, Matt and I's faces on there, and he posted it on his building. So say what you want about and, – and actually, let me word it this way. A lot of people have complained about the player base of Arcage saying that it's toxic. Um, 
you know, I don't see it. I don't have that issue with players in this game. So it's on. Oh, shit. I missed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to swim around. Son of a bee, I missed. Well, it's a chance to look at the beautiful water in this game, isn't it? Look at that. So you'll see. And we have the cheapest, shittiest, bottom-of-the-line um, ship. I'm just going to summon it out right here. And as you saw in the other one, you actually saw us craft the ship, which is cool. So I'm going to summon the ship here, and you should see... On the sale, our image. Now, this is the back end of it. And another thing to remember also, um, if you create a transparent uh, PNG, which I did not. I just threw this together in Paint Shop really quick. Then you won't have this white background. You can actually make it transparent and just have a stamp of whatever you have on there, which obviously would be super cool, and we didn't do that. But live and learn. You know now to make sure that you make a transparent. Oh, I don't want to pick that up. I just want to get in my boat. So, yeah, it's super cool. <clears throat> Let's get on this side. Can we get a good shot of it? I'll swim out. So there you go, looking at it from underwater. And uh, I'll show you here how to craft this as well. Now, when you're in your boat, and this is with the sail that just comes with this boat, so it's not like I had to buy anything specific. Um, you just mount yourself on onto here by grabbing onto the steering wheel and then you can modify your boat here and we'll bring up the inventory and i'm not obviously going to recustomize it but here's our sail just drag the sail to your inventory and then now that we have the sail in our inventory uh you have to release the ship here to do this Whoop. and then you do the same thing you just take the crest stamp right click on it go to your sail and i'll actually burn this up again because it doesn't matter and apply your image to that. Then grab onto your boat again. Open that up. Throw your sail on. Piece of cake. There you go. That's all there is to it, friends. It's all that there is. That's all you have to do to get your sweet image on. And it's really... It, it was more expensive for the brainstorms today. Or it was cheaper for the brainstorms. A little bit more expensive uh, for the some of the other items that you need. Such as the hell was it that i need oh the canvas so those are a little bit more expensive maybe you want to craft those on your own i got lucky someone had those for 80 silver 80 or 90 silver and i just bought a ton of them thinking oh these are great these are cheap they're actually uh i got a pretty sweet deal it looks like well, there you go the thaco gamers sailing out into the wild blue yonder thank you for joining us if you like the channel please like and subscribe uh if i was a little too uh chatty on here i apologize i don't have first instructional video that i've ever done before but thank you everybody for your uh all of the love that we've gotten on the arcade video it's super awesome we think it's great and uh we will do more arcade videos we're gonna venture into other mmos we have uh, some other is it worth playings that we're working on right now um but we will continue to do uh some arcade videos here and there to because that's obviously a lot of people are interested in that and we want to be able to help people out, and I'm glad that now you have a tutorial that can show you how to easily bring your images into the game, because when I was looking, I couldn't find Diddly Squad out there. So thank you once again for joining us. Um, I appreciate everything, and make sure you like and subscribe if you like the video, and you can give us a thumbs up or a plus one or whatever it is on the other social media. You can tell your friends if you want to tell your friends, yeah, wh whatever it is, whatever it takes. And uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you, gamers. Later.